<laughs> oh, and insert terrible rock pun here. Hello, my name is Wolfhead Brony, and today I am going to be reacting to Totally Legit Recap's Rock Solid Friendship. Now, before I get into DWK's whole thing, I gotta recap the episode. Not recap it, but just do like a little mini review. First of all, it was a mod episode, so right there, sign me the F up. And I really love the cute little pinky breakdown she has at the end where she's like, where she realizes she's um, she's done a bad thing and she's like really remorseful and stuff like that. And I love the idea that Maude and Starlight are friends now. I want, I want them to hang out with Trixie. I feel like Trixie will have a jealous trip. But enough with me being like analytic. Let's get all into DWK's uh, recap. Let's see how he tells the story, so to say. Dum ba ba da ba ba da feel good bum ba ba da bum 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 ba ba da bum ba. Okay, so this oh oh god! Like, Good job passing your rockdal exam, Mod. I'm glad I found someone else <laughs> who wanted one of these degrees before I died. And Mod's like, <laughs> old as fuck. Support me on this most auspicious occasion. Now that I'm an expert on rocks, I'm confident I'll be a good mother to Boulder's children. We will wed in <laughs> the time and move to autism chasm so that we may raise our family in peace. So we're uh, on okay. the train back home and Ponkers all. Uh, Mod, I'm happy for you and all, but is marrying your imaginary friend and moving away from civilization really the best? Best idea? Why don't you? I mean, it could be. Me? You could maybe meet a real guy and have some real kids. Pinky, look at our <laughs> record with offspring. I know we call our business a rock farm, but it would be more accurate to call it a personality disorder farm. <laughs> to produce, it's better if I don't have biological offspring, and I'll be happy with my rock children. Look, just oh wow, come home with damn! For a couple days and give real people one more chance. It can't hurt, right? You would think that, wouldn't you? Anyway, <laughs> of exit existential horror, Maude decided <laughs> yeah. to humor her sister and Pinky uh, that part was pretty freaky. a last-ditch effort to form a connection with another carbon-based life form. And Rarity's like, yo, darling, what you been up to? Making one last desperate attempt to avoid dying alone. I assume you can <laughs> Oh, yeah. I dude, I like this bit he does really with Maude, dude. That, do they? It's like overcooked food. Nobody wants it, but a lot of us get it. Only this isn't something you can send back. Spike, please tell me <laughs> you brought some vodka. And Maude's all... <laughs> like, I need, I need more idea. alcohol for this. I also make them miserable and I don't even understand why. Social interaction for me is like looking through a one-way mirror. Please just oh my god! Me. Pinky's like, look, it's everyone's favorite background pony, Lyra Hardstrings! What does she have to do <laughs> with this conversation? <laughs> who have to do with what? I just blacked out for like 10 seconds. Oh hey, look who it is! I wasn't expecting to see it <laughs> here, Glimmy. Then again, why wouldn't I expect to see the main character of the show? And Are you frustrated? Like, I, I'm Mon's not frustrated, like, I like it. I don't it. think so. Yeah, you're right, never mind. I had a few glasses of wine with lunch, so, you know. So Ponka All makes right. Mod hang out with Glimmy in the hopes that they'll hit it off and Mod's <laughs> That loop! What are your hobbies? And Starlight's like... I like... kites. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, DWK? What I'm is a child molester? No! Oh my God! Everyone always asks me that. <laughs> most people assume that adults who like kids stuff are just child molesters trying to lure in new victims. No, nope, I just really <laughs> like kites. I respect you for pursuing your passion, regardless of any potential social stigma. But that's still pretty gay. I, I oh can't my argue God! With that. You want to hold me fly my big gay kite? Fuck yes. Meanwhile, <laughs> Pink is spying Fuck on yeah. him and riding on the edge of a nervous breakdown. Because Dude, these loops he does. The future essentially depends on two severely autistic people becoming friends. Am I Okay. Like, wow, that really is a big gay kite. You think this one's big and gay? You should see the ten foot wide one I made in the shape of Trixie's ass. I'd show you, wow. but I'm not allowed to fly it within the town limits anymore. You're really weird. So what what happened that, that you these couldn't two do that? Gone faster if they experience some tension together. So she's like, "Look out, guys, a rapist." <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I got her. That was pretty intense, though. I, I saw know. that on Why are you on Twitter. A so pizza suit? Why aren't you, you unfashionable motherfuckers? Jeez. God damn! Anyway, it's a little later. Mod and Glimmy are doing some spelunking together, and I, right. I don't mean the kind she does with Trixie. I'm talking about the actual kind. It's sort of like I, I didn't ask, but okay. This place is fucking gorgeous. This must be like heaven for you. It's almost poetic. What is? That my personal paradise would be underground when my personal hell is above it. Holy shit, bro! You're damn, crazy. dude. So are you. We're in a subterranean cave. You know what, my, I, I Fucking really cool. and poetry! <laughs>
So it's later Dude. that night, and this is adorable. No, I'm not talking about the fact that these two sleep in the same bed. That's just hot. No, I'm talking about <laughs> this right here. Maud's hair is obviously just as unyielding as her personality. Anyway, okay. nothing sexual happens, I promise, but when Pink Punk wakes up, she finds <laughs> this note. Pinky, the way Pinky she pushed her down on that bed, though. I realize that my obsession and self-imposed social isolation are just defense mechanisms I've developed to spare myself a life of constant rejection. Being alone hurts <laughs> Pinky breakdown. My choice, and I'd rather go back to my delusions before this taste of the unattainable shatters them forever. Please come uh -huh. in my rock tulpa someday. Love, mod. And Pinky's like, God damn it, you stupid cunt. Why couldn't you just be my sister's friend? <laughs> Gloomy Glam's all, dude, wait, she left? Yeah, but we were totally hitting it off. You just kept fucking it up. Seriously, that's pretty much exactly what she said. So Pops yeah. really depressed, yeah. but not only did she that was pretty good. professed area of expertise, but with her sister, no less. However, she powers through it, and thank God, too, because Mod is past the point of no return, and Pinky arrives just in time to interrupt her attempt at suicide by eel. And she's like, holy <laughs> shit, dude, did you just try to kill yourself? Yes, I came so close to forming a damn yes. personal connection that I realized I could never go back to living in my fantasy world no matter how well constructed it was. I thought I could be happy marrying my own fantasy, but it was all a lie I told myself to keep the crushing loneliness and despair at bay, so I decided to end my life rather than undertake the monumental task of salvaging it. But you're gonna die Damn anyway. the feels! Oh, your point. My point is that if death is certain anyway, then what's the harm in trying to live a little longer? At the very worst, you'll still end up dead like you wanted, but at best you might actually be happy. Look, I promise I'll Damn, stop being an annoying cunt, but just give it a shot, okay? Okay? If it doesn't work <laughs> out, I promise I'll blow your brains out myself and Starlight. God, speak, that's you know, dark discuss. deal. The mods all. Hello, compadre. What kind of slang is that? <laughs> I have no idea. I'm sorry I left, but I'm really shit at this. Hey, it's cool, uh, man. You're literally talking to the princess of the social rejects. Can I be part of <laughs> You already are, dude. Thanks. Wanna help me decorate my cave? Whoa, 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 whoa. Back it up, back it up. Uh, look, mod, I think you're fucking uh, great. Ah, come on, don't. No. I think we're gonna be great friends, but I've got this thing going on with somebody else. It's not a sexual youth. Oh shit, my bad. Yeah, 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 let's go. <laughs> the heads and some fuck, did some shit, did some fuck, did some shit. You got a fuck, a fuck shit stack. It's a stack of fuck shit. I heard this song before. I can't remember where. Oh my god, that was great. All right, I. Dude, I really like this dynamic that um, DWK has, if you can even call it a dynamic, maybe it's just a bit, um, that he has with Mod, where it's just like, she's like really poetic, but like it's like a really depressed Mod. Dude, I depressed Mod, and she like describes it in like a very poetic and like grounded way. I love this bit he does with Mod. Even though like Mod is one of my favorite like characters that shows up every once in a while, but who? Okay, then that was funny. That was funny. That was pretty goddamn funny. Pretty straightforward to the point. Uh, have you fucking heard? My name is Wolfhead Brony. Uh, like the video if you like the video. Subscribe to me if you like my content. And I'll see you guys around. Peace.